Hello reception, it's Mrs Dove here with the last writing video for this half term. Well done everyone, we've made it through half term of home learning. I think we need to give ourselves a really big whoosh for getting this far. Are you ready? After three, one, two, three, whoosh! Well done. Okay, get your pens and paper ready. Get your thread fingers ready. We're going to do some writing linked to our theme this week of Little Red Riding Hood. Before we do that, we'll practice some letters as usual. This week, we are moving our letter formation onto the N shape family of letters. So just like the C shape letters and the L shape letters, they all have a very similar starting point to their formation. This week, we're going to practice H, N and M. Let's start off with H. I'm starting on the line and I'm sweeping up tall, down that same line to our writing line, up halfway and over and off we go. Let's do that one again. Sweep up tall, down, to the writing line, up halfway and over, and off we go. Now, some of you might remember our phonics for is horse. So that writing rhyme, sweeping up to the horse's head, down his long neck to his hooves, up and over his back. Now it's your time to have a practice of those. Let's move on to N, N. It's very similar. It doesn't sweep up quite as tall though. So starting on the writing line, I'm sweeping up halfway down to the writing line, up and over and off you go. Starting on the writing line, sweep up halfway, down, up and over. Now, our rhyme for N is Nobby's net. So here we go, that, this might help you. Sweeping up, down Nobby's net, and over Nobby's net. Now it's your turn to have a practice. Let's move on to M. M. This one, can you see, is very similar. It's like an N and then another N. So here we go, start on the writing line. Sweep up down, up and over, down, up and over, down and off. Let's do that one again. Sweep up, down, up and over, up and over again, and off. Now our rhyme for M mm is Maisie Mountain Mountain. Okay, sweep up Maisie, down Maisie, Mountain Mountain. Your turn. Here's a picture showing a scene from the story Little Red Riding Hood. I'd like your help to help me label some of the things we can see in the picture. Pause the video and tell your grown-up what you can see in the picture. Okay, I wonder if you've seen the same things as me. So I'd like your help writing some words now. I can see a tree. Is that one of the things that you saw? Let's use our Fred fingers. We're going to be using some of those new digraphs and, and trigraphs that we've been learning over the last week. Tree. Can you get your Fred fingers ready? Okay. E. That's one of our new sounds, isn't it? E. What can you see? E. T. R. E. Can you write that down? T. R. E. Oh, I mustn't forget that my digraph needs to hold hands. Tree. Tree. Well done. 
I can see Little Red Riding Hood is reading a book. What sounds can you hear there? Let's get our Fred fingers ready. B -u -k. That's right, it's got that new U uh sound. The short one, the short sound. U uh, B -u -k. Are you ready? Let's write it. Another digraph, so I must remember to hold hands. Book. And it's got a kicking k at the end. Book. Okay. I spotted Red Riding Hood has stripy tights. Can you help me use your Fred fingers to write the word tights? I'll give you a clue. It does have one of our new trigraphs in the word. Tights. You ready? T I T S. Tights. Well done. If you got that I sound in the middle. T. Do you remember how the I sound we write it? It's an I and a G and a H together. T I. So we've seen tree, book, tights, and it's a wood. I think you know which sounds we need. Are you ready? Well done. Wood. Again, it's a digraph. Join those hands. Wood. Well done. Let's have a go at writing a sentence. Now that we've labelled that lovely picture, let's have a go at writing a sentence together. So, can you remember what you need when we write a sentence? Or there's some very special things that we must do when we're writing a sentence. First one. Capital letters. Second one, finger spaces. Third one, something called a full stop at the end. So when we've written our sentence, I'd like you to check that you've got, you've got those three things. Your capital letters, your finger spaces, and a full stop at the end. Okay, let's write the sentence. Little red skips in the wood. Little Red skips in the wood. Can you repeat that back to me? Little Red skips in the wood. Okay, I think we might remember it now. We've said it a few times. Our first word is little. I might help you with this a little bit. Capital O. What other sounds can you hear? Little. Yeah. I. T. And it has a double T in little. Little. And it has a O and an E at the end. Little. Red. I know you can tell me what sounds I need for that. You don't need my help. Are you ready? Well done. Red. I'm going to use a capital letter because it's her name. Red. Well done. Finger space. Skips. What sounds can you hear in skips? Okay. There was quite a lot of sounds in that word, wasn't there? Ips. Skips. Off we go. Remembering my finger space. K. Kicking k. I. P. S. Little red. Skips. 
skips. Now I'm going to come down onto this line because I don't think I've got enough room. In. Well done. I. N. Next word is the. That's right, one of our red words. And we spell that. T. E. But when we read it, we say the. Little red skips in the wood. I'm going to have to think which digraph, which new digraph we need for wood. Are you ready? W -d. Well done. Joining hands for my digraph. And that's it. I mustn't forget that full stop at the end. Now, if you'd like a challenge, perhaps you could have a think about some different sentences you could write about the story Little Red Riding Hood. Maybe it's not about this picture. Maybe you've got the story at home and you could choose a picture from your storybook and write a sentence. Now, I expect if you showed your teacher your work, there might be some house points for you or something for your reach chart. We look forward to seeing your writing.